Now it says that no one's watching, but Danny assures me people are. He still says that I watch his doing my editing, to be honest. Um, flip it to portrait if possible. Okay. I'm just going to hold it. How is everyone? Oh, hi, mate. Someone's there. Good. Here we go. That's better, yeah? Good evening, everybody. I was just on the Voice of Wales having a chat with the lads. <coughs> Easy G. Your days are numbered, you scummy. <laughs> Your days are numbered. How many years do you think I've heard that for, you clown? You smack rat. But anyway, enough of the wrong yeah? Wait for a few more people to sign in. The viewers are going up and up and up. What are we on, 177,000? <laughs> all those journalists, all those mainstream media journalists who are celebrating us being deplatformed. I have more followers on this new platform than any of you have ever had, adding all of you together. <laughs> Just wait till Trump's new one's released as well. What's that, in three weeks? Facebook who? Zuckerberg who? So... This is just an opportunity for an update for me. An update on episode two, which we'll talk about. But an episode, an update. Have you seen the recent court proceedings against me? Did anyone see this week that I was in court? Because it's the first I heard of it. Yeah? So, the insolvency board, who are investigating my bankruptcy, who I had a meeting with this week to be interviewed... This is the insolvency that you may have seen, hope not hate, attempting to raise lots of money for their big investigation, yeah? They're just lying to their people for donations, basically, because on the 3rd of March um, is when my bankruptcy... When I... When I end... When my bankruptcy ends, you have 12 months of bankruptcy. Mine will end on the 3rd of March. According to the investigator, there's no plans to try and ex extend that. Um, which... So when you go bankrupt, you have... The insolvency who investigate your bankruptcy. They investigate the money, they search for money, they search for assets. I was taken to court this week at the High Court for some reason, under whatever section, which I had no, no awareness of, and they, they wanted to ask me questions on oath. So I've had a legal meeting to try and understand what this is about. Yeah? And the solicitors are shocked, they've never seen it. They said, this does not happen. You have your investigation by the bankruptcy, you're declared bankrupt. Yeah? So any questions are irrelevant. You're declared bankrupt. So he said, what they're attempting to do is get you on oath, because when you're in the high court, they can then sentence you for contempt of court to prison. Yeah? So if they can question me and attempt to trip me up on something, then I'll be imprisoned, which is the purpose of, their invest of, of what they're doing, basically. That's the purpose and the motive of what they're doing, according to my... Uh, meeting with a solicitor this week so I haven't heard about that court case hadn't heard about it so people who know me I haven't been living in the UK for some six months now I come I pop in I have children who I need to see I pop in and do my work um, main reason being as many of you will know I, I separated from my family and um, and trying to find somewhere to live is very difficult when you're Tommy Robinson trust me so I found somewhere to live it's not in the UK which is where I Continue to be, but I pop back in and do my work. So, just an update on, you may have seen all over the news, which I keep seeing all over the news, all this nonsense about my bankruptcy. GB News uh, failed to talk about the rape of Britain, failed to mention the rape of Britain, failed to make, mention allegations of corruption against Jim Bayliss, yet run headlines everywhere about Tommy Robinson's bankrupt and has to go to court. No one in the British public actually really gives a shit about my bankruptcy or financial situation. They're more bothered about girls being raped and corrupt police officers facilitating it. So, GB News, no different to the rest by the looks of it. But we are going full steam ahead on series, on episode two. I keep getting corrected. So, Danny Tom, I know you're watching this. It's not episode, it's, it's not series two, it's episode two, yeah? That's for you, mate. So, episode two's coming. Um, one thing I do need to point out to everyone, which I hate doing this, yeah, is I've been given a, a job 
As you know, I'm bankrupt, but I've been given a job by a new media platform called Urban Scoop, who are heading away and leading this way. And they've had a team of investigators who they've been paying. They've had a team of cameramen who they've been paying. We've spent, I've spent three days now in Telford again. Um, we begin filming again this week in Telford. Um, but they need your support. Everyone wants to see episode two. I want to see episode two. But the money that's been spent, £3,800 on moving one victim, nearly £7,000 on moving another, another victim, £7,000, £6,000 on the stage and PA system, all of these costs, people have donated and they've supported, but what, what it doesn't have is a monthly reoccurring support base, which Urban Scoop need, because they have multiple employees, me, one of them. Um, we have, they have multiple costs, hotels, travel, um, security, and they need your support for it. So if anyone can, it's a, even if you look at it like a cup of coffee or a pint of beer, yeah? Most people when I see them say, we'll buy you a pint of beer. If you can buy Urban Scoop a pint of beer, it will help them make plans, proper plans, and be able to go full steam ahead and crack on with these episodes. We've got the, we've got the, we've got the content, but there's still a lot to do, even on the, even on the production of it, yeah? The production of it. So it's a new organisation, it's a new media company and they need your support. I'll put a link on it in here. If ever there was something you can go on, everyone has a, pl a part to play. If your part can be buying, just paying a couple of quid, paying, paying a monthly subscription, then you are accommodating us. You've seen the content we've produced on the first one. You've seen the level of work that's gone into it. Um, we've, I think, proven what we can do uh, as a, what the company can do. Um, I'm super happy with the people behind it and the work they've done. As I said, when I stood up on stage, I said, I feel like a bit of a fraud because this was not the Tommy Robinson show. I may have produced, that. I may have put that documentary, I may be the presenter for that documentary, but all of the hard work and the people behind it are the employees of Urban Scoop. Yeah? Those employees of Urban Scoop need your support. They need your support to cover the bills. They need support to make sure they're committed to know that they've got the commitment for a monthly position for full-time work on this. So anyone who can, um, really, they need your support. We need your support. I want to get back up there. I've been up there this week. Um, we're going to shock you again with the content in the next one. We have more brave survivors who have come forward who are going to tell their story. And we have more men that we have allegations that we need to speak to. Um, all of these things cost money. So if you can support it, we also, I also have the news or the discussions about the possibility of a private prosecution against Akil Khan. We have a 100% DNA match and we now have another witness that has come forward who, can put, who puts Akil with the victim in her school uniform in his car. So, yeah. I want to say a special thank you to everyone who supported it so far. It won't be possible without your support. You know, you know when, when, we, when we're up there doing this for the last 18 months and we're speaking to people, I, I promise each person I talk to, if shit hits the fan with you, we will support you. That's all I can guarantee, yeah? We will not leave you. And I think we proved that in the situation in Telford when men, volunteers, come and stood and defended a family and raised money to relocate that family. That family weren't relocated. They've been relocated three times now from where they were. The storage, the removal costs, the deposits for the new place, everything was put in place by your support and your donations. That family and, 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 and the survivor, who was the daughter of the mother from that house, has asked me to say a special thank you to every single one of you. You'll be hearing a lot more from her anyway in the coming up episodes. But, you, um, but she's grateful and her family are grateful for the support, because the support wasn't there by the police. So it was there by you. And I'm in a position where I can promise people that with your support. So just a quick thank you from me. Um, thank you and just get excited because episodes two come, come in. Yeah? We're going to work hard on it, but we need your help. That's, that's all this is. We need your help. You've seen what they're doing with me. You've seen all the headlines. You've seen the court cases. That's not going to stop. It's not going to stop at all. Actually, what they're trying to do is target my loved ones. And that's what they're looking to do now. Let's target my loved ones, my children. So, we'll see what happens, yeah? Um, Tucker here will move families for free. Oh, trucker. How good are the truckers, man? There is a revolution going on. Who would have thought Canada? Who would have thought?
four, the most based population in the world, yeah, at, 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 for this would be Canada. I never would have thought it, man. I never would have thought it. So, uh, when's Urban Scoop coming to Leicester? The plan has been to stay in Telford. My plan was to stay in Telford. We've had Survivor 1. The next episode will be Survivor 2 and 3. The next episode will be Survivor 4. We will continue. I believe the numbers will double and they'll double. More people come. We've proved to the people of Telford why we're there. This isn't about Tommy Robinson. It's not the Tommy Robinson show. This is about giving a platform, raising awareness about men who have got away with raping children, about corrupt officials who have facilitated it and accommodated it. And this is the start of us showing who they are. So, and if it wasn't for... Um, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Truckers are fighting for our freedoms. Those truckers are fighting for everyone's freedoms. I watched when the, the Australian workers first come out and thought, you are on the front line of the battle. But right now, the truckers have absolutely annihilated. It took over, and they should have the world support. They're smashing it, man. Absolutely smashing it. And what a coward does Justin Trudeau look like. But um, where do you donate? I put a link on here. Do you know what it is? If we just had people who could sign up monthly and commit monthly, yeah, it's, we do not have the mass, don't believe the, the bullshit, yeah? don't believe the bullshit, you'll see it will come out in the investigation. We do not have the mass funding, we don't have any mass funding, yeah? we don't have any mass, we're not a corporation, we don't have the masses of funding like the BBC have. We have nothing, but I think the, the work we are doing is more important than any of work, the work they do. We're putting ourselves on the front line, that's not just me, that's my cameramen who come with me, that's the security that will come with me. We, were, we, we nearly got Bugsy at the mosque when we pulled up at the mosque. And we were going in that mosque, yeah? He'd just left. We were going in there. So wherever it takes us, in, this, in these stories, we will go. You know that, yeah? We will go wherever, whenever, to question men, yeah? And we just ask that you support it. It gives us the security and the stability. It gives Urban Scoop the security and stability to be able to employ full-time, on a full-time basis, the people we need. So, yeah. Yeah, cancel your TV licence and give it to Urban Scoop because there's a whole committed team there who are ready to go to war in the journalism sense. We're going to do journalism like no one else does, mate. We're going to bring you content like no one else does. Yeah? There's no other company or organisation or media outlet that will bring you the content we're going to bring you and we've only just started. So, fire in the belly is lit. There's lots of people to tell their stories. Um, I just want to thank everyone that travelled there. I'm going over on myself now. I want to thank you, everyone that travelled there to, that, to Telford. Make sure you make your plans. When I release the date and drop the trailer, which is... The date will be coming soon. The trailer will be coming soon. Um, make sure you make your plans. This next series is going to show two more very brave women. Um, I've sat with one of them today. And the world needs to know what's going on in the UK. The world needs to know the stories that are being covered up. The world needs to know how big the problem is. So, Danny Tomo, tick tock, tick tock. How many men are sitting there right now thinking, oh, I see. And you know, when that, we had that big list of all their pictures on the wall, they'd have been pausing it, zooming in, looking, and none of you know who we're coming for next. But some of you are going to be famous. Good night, everyone, yeah? Um, good night, everyone, and thank you for the support. Please, if you can, jump over to Urban Scoop. will give the cushion that Urban Scoop needs to know that we can just crack on and fire out these episodes quicker. The last one took so long because we had people volunteering, volunteering, wanted to be able to say, right, let's go, let's go, go, go. See you later. Good night. And thanks again, everyone. Yeah.